Hello again. Um, so I'm just going to share my experience um, with regards to SCAR revision with you. Um, I'll be talking about different modalities uh, today. <clears throat> so what are SCARs? Um, SCARs are, fi are fibrous tissue that develops to replace normal skin after injury. Now, the injury can be accidental, road traffic accident or a burn. Uh, it can be medically induced after surgery or a laser treatment that's gone wrong. Uh, or it can be due to deep inflammatory skin conditions, most commonly acne. <clears throat> there are different types of scars. Um, we have hypertrophic scars, keloid scars, um, stretched scars, uh, especially on certain parts, highly mobile parts of the body like the shoulders, atrophic scars, uh, different types of acne scars, and scars sometimes can have other issues uh, that lead to color change, like pigmentation or redness and telangiectasia. <clears throat> so how do we manage scars? What are the aims of uh, scar management? Um, we need to try to improve the texture of the scar, uh, improve the color, and sometimes even improve the symptoms. Some scars like hypertrophic or keloid scars can be itchy or even, or even painful to the patient. How do we do that? Um, there are different modalities that we can employ, like surgical revision, um, different lasers, interlegional steroids, microneedling, fillers for depressed scars, peels in some cases, and topical treatments such as silicon gel. Um, so I just want to discuss a few examples of my experience managing scars and how I go about that. I normally use a personalized approach, looking at the type of the scar, of course, taking into account the skin type and other patient factors. So what's the patient's job? Can they afford, how much downtime can they afford? What's the appetite for risk, etc. Um, and for most patients, I use a combination of treatments, either a combination of different lasers or surgery and lasers, etc. This is a, a lady with skin type 5 um, who uh, presented with this um, scar after having several uh, procedures to correct um, uh, a butt implant that's gone wrong. She, she was very distressed about it. And you can see she has a dark skin type 4 or 5. Uh, she has a stretched scar and she has a lot of pigmentation. So I chose to treat her with a pass of the fractional Erbimiag. Uh, taking into account her skin type, I used conservative settings, short pulse duration, uh, not very high energy, and... Um, only 5% coverage. I followed that with the QRAS, Q-switch, uh, NDAG 1064, the same settings that I would normally use for melasma, and she has achieved very good improvement. She's very happy with that after one session, and we are continuing to treat her. She's actually getting even better. Um, this is another patient. Um, again, darker skin type, four to five. Um, you can see here we have two issues with this scar. We have the, the uh, quality of the scar tissue uh, and we have the, the erythema, the red color. So I treated this scar with um, fractional ablative herb and yag, again conservative settings given the skin type, followed by the long pulse ND yag to target the vascular component and you can see significant improvement after one session. This is, uh, again, um, an Asian male with uh, very uh, distressing, deep, ice pick, box scar, scars on his face, acne scars. Um, I, I discussed with him different approaches and different treatments, and on balance, we opted to do a combination of subcision because there was a lot of tethering on examination, and Morpheus 8 because um, 
this would be much safer given his skin type. I did use um, reasonable verging on high settings. And uh, this is his result after two sessions. He has marked improvement. We could have done things like punch excision here, but he didn't uh, wish for that. <clears throat> this is another scar um, following some kind of revision of a breast lift. Scar was here on the, on the torso. And the scar was stretched, so I discussed with the patient whether to go for laser or surgery followed by laser. She opted for, opted for the latter. Uh, so that's what I did. And um, this is the scar at um, two weeks. And we're continuing to um, work on that uh, to improve the pigmentation and the texture with lasers. This is a patient uh, courtesy of Dr. Tuma. <coughs> This is a motorbike accident uh, that was treated with the fractional and fully ablative Erbimag laser. And you can see here, uh, impressive result, uh, but it took about eight sessions. Um, so in summary, um, I presented to you different types of scars treated using different modalities. Um, when treating scars, I think it's very important to have dermatological as well as surgical and laser expertise to be able to combine treatments and tailor them to the patient. And of course, you need access to the appropriate machines for the treatment. Thank you very much.